And he has to do it. He's got to receive that check. If he's too proud to receive it, well, then the alternative is the punishment. And that's all that God asks you to do. Receive that freely. Think of the price. Remember this, dad's giving his life savings. And God, when Jesus died, he was giving his life in order to save us. And then I say, there's not a single religion in the world, first of all, where any leader even claims that he was born of a virgin. The virgin birth is very, very important. Jesus Christ came to earth without a human father. God created the sperm which produced Jesus' body. It united with Mary's egg, and there you had God in human form. And no one has ever, no religion, no religious leaders ever claimed that. Secondly, no religious leader ever claimed that I'm coming here to die for the sins of the world. And thirdly, no religious leader ever rose from the dead on the third day. This is the foundation of Christianity. Christianity is not founded on do good, be kind, help the poor, and don't tell lies, and be compassionate. No, no, no. That's the superstructure. And that may look like what is taught in other religions, but there's a foundation underneath. And if you don't have this foundation, whatever religion you have, it's on sand. So what is it? The one who founded our Christian faith is born of a virgin, died for the sins of the whole world, and rose from the dead. No one has ever done that. I say that is why I believe that Christianity is the only true way to God. That's point number one. Then secondly, the, which we all, the truths that every Christian must know, we must not only believe, we must repent and believe in Jesus Christ to be saved. Not just believe.